for real. <laughs> but you, you yeah, mentioned Playboy. You like did a deal with Hugh Hefner, right? Yeah, I did in in the early two thousands. Then, so I started talking to Playboy because, um, frankly, they they wanted to buy us, and then we got down and we did the financials, and we were too big. Like we needed to buy them, and then I it ended up. Um, I ended up making an offer to them, to Hugh Hefner and Christy in Chicago. And I guess Linda Havard, she was their uh, COO at the time, or CFO. Um, and then um, ultimately, he didn't want to sell to me. So I couldn't close the deal of buying it. And he was pretty pissed off that we were so much bigger than him when he saw the numbers. So then I ended up buying the home video division. And then uh, and another ruse. I pretended like I didn't own that either. So then I'd go out in LA and they'd be like, oh my God, you see those commercials with Playboy? They're really coming after you. <laughs> and I would be like, oh, they're really coming after me. I owned it too. I owned everything. <laughs> did, did Hugh Hefner, you know, like, was he like jealous? Was it like, this is my legacy and you're bigger than he is? Well, I'll tell you, I launched the product I filmed it at his house because it was Playboy. Man the first one with him was Playboy Mansion Parties Uncensored. And then we did Playboy's Casting Calls next. And we did, I mean, I, I did a hundred videos with him. And wow. the, the rest of the library was shit. I mean, I, I couldn't do anything with it. Can I say, I can swear on this? Yeah, not? you could swear. <laughs> I have a filthy good? mouth. I, I have really? a filthy okay. mouth. Right. People All have. Because right. I've never done this show before. So I've never well, done this show. I'm you sad. can say any. You've well, never invited me. Well, you know what? I thought, we, I thought we were friends. Okay, well, we also should. We let's. This is a perfect time to give a shout out for how you and I are connected. Leah Black. Woo! Yeah. So. Housewives. Right. If 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 I knew Leah. Let's talk about that episode. We love Leah. <laughs> I love Leah. Leah, Leah has put my, us together. Yes. Leah's Leah's husband kept me out of jail. <laughs> she told me Boy. she was like, yeah. I don't know how your name came up, but it came up and she was like, do you want any of these people on your show? And I was like, yes, put me in touch with Joe Francis immediately. <laughs> and that's the thing about Leah. Leah makes shit happen. Oh yeah. She does. She does not fuck around. She does not fuck around. So, I mean, was Hugh Hefner like, you know, like you are like the modern day Hugh Hefner. Okay. So there you go. Right there. So let me tell you how it went down. At first, Christy called, you know, I had been to Hefner's parties, didn't never, never met him, never, you know, what we did, did the deal with him at the mansion. Oh, there's this wonder kid bringing him in. I gave him a million dollar advance to buy the, the thing plus huge back end, right? And at the time, he was in the shit can. He had no money. So this was basically like, you know, helping him out. He was living, Hugh Hefner was living hand to, hand to mouth 20 years ago. You know, he, he didn't have anything. So that was, a, that was a lot of money. So he immediately invited, invited me over to the mansion. We had breakfast at the, um, at the Playboy Mansion, which, by the way, looks, I mean, in the, I'm sure they're, they're remodeling it now. It doesn't look it, so nice to me. I mean, like, it's not it's my It's disgusting. Style. Yeah, it's, it's not in my the, style. And in the daytime, in the morning, like, I've been to the parties, but in the morning, I'm like, God, this is gross. <laughs> what is it? It's just like old school. Is it like old school? Oh God, it's it's awful. It's a teardown. It's disgusting. But they're tearing it down right now. Um, it's it's huh. awful. It's horrible. Um, and and I did the deal, and it was really cordial until probably I started sleeping with his girlfriend. Actually, no, it was before that. I'll tell you because that's when he really got pissed it was we i started making him the money and then i kind of became a fixture around the mansion and then after three weeks of launching the product i delivered him a check i said i called uh, jim english who was the president of playboy at the time and i said jim i said uh i said i have I'm, i have your first payment for you he's like no oh, nothing's due he said well i i said i'd like to deliver it personally you know, if the, you know, things have been successful. And he's like, cool, come on down. And I, and, and he called the meeting and Beverly Hills and 
I delivered him a second million dollar check in three weeks. And he said, oh my God, he said, you really need to get with half. And he needs you. So when all of this excitement started happening and then everybody was around and all the girls at the mansion who are all young and I'm young in my twenties saying, oh, this is the next you have. To. That's where it all ended. With me and him, when people like Larry King and all these people on television, people, television personalities like yourself started saying, this is the new Hugh Hefner. He cut me off. He completely, like, he resented me, hated me. He, wanted, he needed the money from me, but he didn't want to, you know, he, he, that was the line. That was it. Nobody's going to compare themselves to him. So that was it. And then he hated me from then on. Well, and then his girlfriends and then who weren't really girlfriends. They had like a curfew and a payment. They were kind of, you know, working. And, but I only lived, you know, six minute drive from his house. So my drivers had to have them in bed back at the mansion, then down to a wire about taking them out and bringing them back for curfew. So they had to be in bed in the mansion at a certain time. But they were all at my house in my pool before that. Did you so sleep like with like Holly, did you sleep with like Holly Madison or any of the ones that we know from like the girls next door on E? I a cop, I slept with two. Like, can I I always get in trouble when I talk about girls I sleep with. I think that's bad. You but know? did I sleep with two of the girls next door? Yes, I did. Kendra Wilkinson. <laughs> will I tell you which two, David? Two of the girls next door? I will not tell you. But you slept with two of them. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, you. You always get in trouble when you say who you slept with, really. Well, I I tend to to be very. Oh, I'm a very sexually open person with regard to that because I don't think I think there's just this tremendous stigma of sex. That look, I broke down huge barriers with that, and, and you know, and I fought for huge barriers. Hugh Hafner as much as he didn't like me because he was jealous at the end, fought for huge barriers. Larry Flint, my friend, fought for huge barriers. So, and I was that third guy. Look, there's only three people. There are only three people in the history of this world who were famous for what we did. So there are only three of us, right? Hugh Hefner, Larry Flint, and myself. Can you think of another one? Not really. I'm not a professional athlete. I'm not an actor. I mean, I am. I've been an actor on many television shows and a presenter. But at the end of the day, I'm not a singer. And you definitely wouldn't want to hear me sing. <laughs> You're and, famous uh, for the sex industry. And who else? I mean, there's only two others. There were, there were only two others. So, yeah, I mean, I can't know. think of really off the top of my head anyone. Well, there you go. Like maybe Bob three... Lucione from Penthouse. Is that Penthouse, Bob Lucione? Yeah, I don't know, but that's not a household name. I mean, that's not a name right. I know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's not a, like, I don't know what that person looks like. You know what Look I'm at saying? me, but look at me knowing all these, these, these straight male people that, yeah. I mean. Dave, I think you're straight and you're just playing gay to listen, try to get an audience. I listen, think it's Joe. total, it's total gay for pay. That's what it is. It's gay. This is a gay for pay show. Well, I'm me, accusing you right. This is gay for pay. Because you know everything. You know all the right people. There's no you, reason you should know this information. I have two things to say about that. First of all, I've never, <laughs> I've never felt so butch in my life. No one has ever called me straight. Like I have not been mistaken to be for being straight in the past 100,000 years. And I say all the time that I, my job is truly easier because I am a gay man in what I do. It is true. <laughs> if I were a woman or a straight man with these like housewives, it, it would never, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't, I wouldn't get as many as I could. Uh, so I, I, I agree with that. It actually helps, but Gave I am gay, but I am Gave gay. I can tell you that, but <laughs> no, but there is this big stigma with the sex industry still, right? Like why, I mean, do, or do you think it's come really far? Or do you think there's still this huge stigma? Oh my God, they were putting me in jail 20 years ago. Now look at the internet. Of course, I brought it very far. Look, I always told people 20 years ago, I said,